okay these video segments are your idea so you do the on-camera stuff and I'll do the voiceover how's that wow my cousin just showed me some stuff that really grew my mind it's unbelievable so I'm gonna do this one called take a hike with the Tonka Tim so how is that then, cousin? Uh, not too bagly, smagly. Okay, we got about 30 seconds for this title sequence. Then it's your turn to take over. But I don't know what to say. Too late. You're on. He showed me some video that he did a long time ago about the Anasazi people down in Colorado, the cliff dwellers. They were building stuff that was like ancient Egypt stuff out of stone and everything and they carved their dwellings and they lived on the cliffs and it was amazing that our people could do stuff like that. So the native people in North America, they did not all live in teepees and they did not all live in longhouses. Sometimes they lived in stuff that was just carved from the rock and it is pretty cool. Well, I hope you liked the video trip. It was good for me when I saw it, so I hope you like it. It really grew my mind. Isn't this the time when you're supposed to say something? Yeah, I'm getting to it. Okay, the Anasazi people lived many, many years ago in Colorado. They were uh, very fast people. They used to be able to travel at tremendous speed, sometimes exceeding over 100 miles an hour. Cousin, I don't think you're taking this very seriously, you know? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm not very comfortable doing this sort of thing. Uh, why don't you take over? How's that? Okay, just give me a moment and I'll look at the information and then I'll read it back to the people about these ancient people called the Anasazi people. You think you could say people one more time? Oh, you are so funny, cousin. Funny looking, maybe. Funny smelling? Yes. But funny haha? Uh -huh. I wish. Do you mind if I get started now? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. I'll shut up now. This place that you see now is called the Cliff Palace and it's in the Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. It's said to have been built around 1200 BC. The word Anasazi is a Navajo word and it means the ancient ones. These particular dwellings here are adobe dwellings. Adobe is kind of like concrete. It's made with sand and clay and water and straw. And these particular buildings, they are carved blocks of sandstone that are held together with the adobe clay. The Anasazi, or what they call Pueblo people, they are located at the four corner borders of the United States. That is in Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. They have all kinds of these buildings all over the place. Oh, you don't say. Why? Where else are they located? <laughs> Oh, you're funny, guys. Anyway, you can also find them at Chaco National Historical Park, and that is in Crown Point, New Mexico. You can also find them in the Aztec Ruins National Park, or the National Monument in Alamos, New Mexico, or the Bandelier National Monument in Bluff, Utah, or at the Canyon de Chelly National Monument in the northeast part of Arizona. Why, that's very interesting. Why don't you tell me some more about these people? Oh, you're so funny, cuz. Anyway, these people were also known for their pottery, which dated back to 500 and 1300 AD. And in this particular cliff palace, most of the rooms that you see here, there are pit houses and uh, rooms and towers and houses for storage and kivas and kivas were um, part of their religious ceremonies well say can you tell me a little more about it <laughs> you're so funny cousin anyway part of their ceremony is they had these dolls called kachinas they represented spirit beings there's about 400 different kinds in all some of them were sun dolls and stars and wind and corn and stuff like that. They never prayed to them or worshipped them, but they respected them, and the spirits would bless the people if they respected these dolls. 
Is there any more you could tell me about these people? Oh, cousin, you know, you're ever in for it. Anyway, I could tell you more about them, but the people who want to know more about them, they can go on the internet or look on Wikipedia like we did. But there is one last thing about the word Anasazi. It is said it is more accurately translated as ancestors that are now scattered. Yeah, I didn't learn about any of that until just now. When we went there, my brothers and I, to uh, videotape this place, that's all we did. We didn't uh, learn anything because there's nothing around. There's just uh, this tour that you take by yourself running up these stairs. It's a long walk. It's a hard walk, too. It's, uh, it's not uh, definitely not made for anyone out of shape because they're very narrow passages. Well, thank you, cousin, for taking me on this video tour. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot about our people. Now you're welcome. You can wrap it up now. Well, thank you for watching, and tune in next time for another episode of Take a Hike with the Tonka Tim.